I danced from very young. I think I started when I was two. I was very physically able. I used to do lifts and all kinds of stuff. And um, so it was very shocking to get to when you get functional neurological disorder and you can't control your body at all. Um, and you have to relearn to walk mm -hmm. and start from the beginning. I got back from our, my honeymoon. So yay, happy, happy old times. My hip was starting to hurt, which was normal because being a dancer, your hips hurt and that's fine. And then my body started to shake and then it, it was all over. I was in the hospital shaking, in pain and losing abilities very fast. It became from a really happy time to such a scary time. I found it really hard to re-identify myself as a disabled person. When you first become as physically unable as I was, it was scary, but I was so shocked by it that I didn't, I felt numb. I felt numb to the idea that this is possibly ongoing. I just thought, surely they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. There'll be a tablet and I'll be magically better, um, which sadly wasn't the case. I had to really work, <laughs> work really hard to get to where I am, which isn't close to where I used to be. Most doctors I've seen don't know what it is, um, don't know how to treat it. It's too common to be not known about. They say that it's the next, um, out of everything that people go to neurologists about, they say it's the number two reason. Number two. So number one being migraines, and then number two being functional neurological disorder, and then they don't even know about it. Like neurologists, someone who learns about the brain doesn't know that much about it. I had all these teams of neuro, neuro doctors and everything coming to visit me and none of them had any answers. They just kept sending me for more tests and more tests and, and everything came back um, clear and they kept telling me, oh, you're really healthy, which is the last thing you want to hear when you can't even get out of bed. We had another doctor who just said, sometimes it happens and we don't know why. It's best you just go home and learn to deal with it. Which at that point in time, I was laying in bed, shaking in immense pain, needed two people just to get into a wheelchair, but couldn't even sit up in a wheelchair on my own. And his suggestion was just to go home and deal with it. It, it needs so much more understanding in the medical industry that we can get better. We just need the, we need help. We just need the correct help.